Hello and welcome to Be Abundant Now, where evolution is the new, the new revolution. In today's video, this is a pick a card reading about what is in your connection. What is in this connection? Um, and if you are single, this could be um, energy coming in for you within a new connection. Um, I also will be reading personal love notes from your person or future person and be giving a uh, um, selecting some charms for you as well um, at the end of the reading so without further ado let's go ahead and just get into this reading uh, this is pile one and this has a palm tree charm this is pile two this is a ballerina we have pile three which is represented by this crown so um I'm going to go ahead and start with pile one. All of the timestamps will be below within the description box. So pile one, if you chose this pile with this palm tree, um, this is all about eternal truth, uh, peace, um, and it has a very divine connection, very, this is a very divine connection, eternal. Uh, and this is all about like divinity and truth. Growth. You may be even um, going to the tropics. You could be a, going on a vacation with this person wherever there is palm trees. Maybe you already live where there is palm trees. I'm going to save these messages for the end. These are from your person or future person coming into your life. And you have, uh, this is hope. So you may be hoping for love or maybe there is a new... Um, hope in love coming uh there is an anchor here so she has this anchor and um this is uh this is your hope that this will be anchored in there are roses here so there is something blooming there's a lot of blue in this card so i'm getting this sense of deep spiritual connection deep spiritual communication and it says the universe has big plans for me and it's time to claim them. So if you are interested in this like divinely guided true love, um, just go ahead and let the universe know that you are open and vulnerable and receptive. And you trust that the universe is going to bring this love into your life if it's not there. And presently allow the universe to go ahead and make this connection grow. You have the rainbow warrior of light energy. So you could be like um, a light worker. You could be an indigo or a star seed. Um, and, the, and this energy here, um, you can invoke it to clear out all of your connections. You can just say, I invoke the rainbow warrior energy of light to clean out and cleanse all connections and anyone I am connected to. Um, anyone within my soul family or, you know, uh, lovers etc you also have this lullaby card um, and this is a number three for like the holy trinity eight which is infinitely guided this is a total of an 11 which is like a it could be a twin flame number number of karmic justice so something's coming into balance for you um the moon may be very very significant for you and there is all of these beautiful stars um, surrounding this this connection um, that's what I'm getting I'm getting the sense of this person may even be showing up in your dreams in your dream space and you have a very deep um, cosmic connection on the astral plane and it is saying surrender your attachments to results so it says the formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen and then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. So you kind of got to just allow the universe to um, allow everything to happen within divine timing according to divine will. And, you know, you can, you know, you can have an idea in your mind of what you want to manifest and then kind of let go and say, you know, I... I would love, you know, this is what I, um, this is what I'm expecting or something better. Whatever is in the best interest, I surrender to the highest timeline, you know, of the greater good 
for all involved. Uh, you know, something to that effect. So uh, surrender your attachment to whatever outcome you have, because really, um, maybe this, you know, maybe you had your heart set on one person, and maybe the universe has actually has someone better for you. Um, because you've done a lot of healing. You've done a lot of inner work. You must be some sort of a light worker with this rainbow energy of light. Um, maybe you are on a twin flame journey. And that uh, a twin flame can be someone who just kind of um, activates you um, to work through a, a, a period of all of these karmic loops and cycles so that you can close them out. And if that is the case, pile number one, uh, your, your twin flame, this, the person who you thought may be your twin flame, they may or may not come in. But you know what? You have to accept that the universe is going to give you the best possible outcome. And you will receive, if that is what you are seeking as a divinely guided, like true love, you're going to receive um, a person who is a reflection of all of the internal work that you have done on this journey. And from what I can see, you know, you've done a lot of healing in this, and you are um, always, like, in communication with spirit. So, and this person, like I said, your person may be showing up in your dream space, or um, for some reason, like the moon. You may be also someone who is very um, interested in music, even classical music. And it is saying home. Um, and that is where you're coming to this is a sense of home the home within yourself You know finding that harmonization within you again. You have this This is a three of the like the master numbers and a five for Transformation change and magic coming home to within the self when you come into union with yourself You will attract a divine counterpart And this card here is all about like earth-based energy. This is all about grounding in all of the spiritual healing work that you have done is being grounded in. And this card is all about aspiration. And it is, this is represented by the direction of the north. So this might be following your north star or the north node. And it's saying aspiration stimulates power. It is your aim spiritually and physically in the world and it involves the totality of your being. Without the balance between the physical and the spiritual, aspiration is a hollow accomplishment. It is like a spirit lodge that can hold space for your ceremonies and rituals. The spirit lodge must first have a strong foundation of capability, trust of those around you and responsibility. Aspiration is what builds the spirit lodge of power. It is the quiet architect of the accomplishments and it sits at the feet of power just as the deer stands before the remnants of an ancient and powerful civilization, civilization come and gone. Keep your heart open, kind and loving so that the energy of the universe can move freely through you. It is difficult to aspire without judgment, but judgment lim limits you, putting a fence around your consciousness. Give much consideration to all your choices in life and free flow to your process of aspiration. So again, they're telling you to basically just get into the flow of life. Allow all of this spiritual energy um, to flow through you and ground it into the earth. You know, to help anchor in all of these like new timelines. I'm going to go ahead and draw you some charms. And let's see what charms come out for you. Pile one. Okay, so let's see. We have a diamond. That is a diamond. You could, um, you may have done a lot of work. You are now shining and being in this um, state of brilliance from the heart space. There is a key. Um, there are there are doors opening. This might be keys to success, keys to knowledge. Uh, but you have the key to unlock something that is coming into your life again you have this bicycle this could be adventure this could be having just having fun taking off your life is having a new direction um you have direction in your life you have momentum 
Also, you have this tree and it is, it, it is blooming. So there is expansion in your life and it is grounded because it's rooted. So whatever you've been doing on a spiritual level, it is assisting you in attracting this really beautiful, loving energy. And it doesn't, you know, this is a love reading. So this is about a partnership. So you are attracting a partner that is going to complement you perfectly. Whether it is the person that you may or may not have had in mind, you know, it may or may not be, and you just have to be, and that's why. And the reason I'm saying that is because you got this, this card. So you may even get someone better than what you thought. Um, you have a cat here, so it's saying to get in tune with your inner in intuition. And this looks like Saturn. Saturn's going to be around all year. Saturn is all about your partnerships and, um, like, success. So very powerful. These are grapes. So this is about like tasting the sweetness in life um, and just really appreciating it, you know, and they are very um, high in oxidants. And also this could be about nourishing yourself, nourishing your body, nourishing your soul, nourishing your mind, um, you know, through like self-love. Things are really blooming in your life. You have a flower. And this is all about emotions and finding that emotional balance uh, within you. And you may have done a lot of internal work to get this starfish. And this is also about like wish fulfillment. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and read your messages because you've done, like I said, you've done a lot of healing. You've anchored in all of these, like you're anchoring in all of these really high frequency energies. Um, know that this is eternal and divinely guided with this palm tree. You are coming into a sense of home. And these are your messages, your final messages from your person. And it says, within you, I have found home. So this person does see you as home. You see them as home. That's reflected twice. It says, you can always feel safe in my arms. It says, you are my special person and I love you. It says, you are the mirror to my soul. This is your, like, divine counterpart. It says, you are also my weakness. This person, you know, gets weak around you. It says, and our love is written in the stars. So that is your messages from your person. And this is your love reading, pile number one. So thank you very much. And until next time, love and infinite blessings to you. So with that, I am going to go ahead and move forward on to pile number two. And here we go. Pile number two. Pile number two. If you chose this pile, you chose the charm with the ballerina ballerina is all about poise and grace and following the dance of your soul it's about harmonization of bringing this very beautiful feminine energy um this flowing like energy and grounding it into um the earth to do the to continue the the dance of life now these are your messages and this is what i will conclude your reading and these are messages from your person or from your future person your energy is all about, you know, you may have been coming out of a situation of misfortune and there may have been some upheaval, you know, and what we have to learn in life is that everything happens and usually when there is something like this that goes on and there's usually a lesson behind it there is there you know and it's something to transform you something to help uh build your soul and you know allow you to expand so <clears throat> it says believing in spiritual guidance gives me um, certainty and the freedom to keep dreaming even when I can't yet see the result and that kind of you know and um, what I'm getting the message I'm getting from you for you is to just just kind of stay in faith um, stay in a energy of trust be open receptive and 
surrender to the universe because all of this too shall pass whatever is going on in your life you have a lot of psychic energy behind you and look at all of this beautiful pink energy this is like a lot of unconditional love that is um, surrounding you now by spirit and it's saying um, dreams in the 5d and consciousness and you know sometimes we may have some like um, situations or experiences that we have to have in order to um, assist us on the path of ascension into this uh, 5d type of energy and consciousness because there is a change you're coming into a change of seasons and this is like a past energy or you recently come out of this and this is about a four which is a solid foundation this is a new this is a two for divine partnerships a total of six this is about bringing balance um balance of um equal give and take in all of your relationships In one second, I'm going to go ahead and plug in my camera before it dies. I apologize, Pile 2. I thought I had enough battery, but obviously not. So I'm going to just go ahead and plug this in really quick. things happen <sighs> okay there I think that's much better now my apologies too I just didn't want to cut off this video is getting your reading was getting very very good so um, like I said you're coming into a season of change where there is um, you're building a solid foundation, attracting some sort of new divine partnerships. This is a six. And maybe some of these things had to fall away in your life to make room for what's coming. Because look at all of this beautiful growth. And it's kind of like, you know, there's all kinds of seasons. There's snow mixed in with um, all of these flowers. So there's um, a very beautiful new energy that's coming in and I'm getting this like impression of <clears throat> you know the snow kind of purifying things you know the the snow kind of allows things to go to sleep for a while and so that new things can take um take root and that's what I'm getting some sort of like purifying energy is what's coming through so there's some sort of purifying energy coming through um, in your connections and maybe some of these things had to happen in order to get you into this space um, in surrender to prayer it is saying give yourself over completely to prayer when you pray from your heart you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive and gratitude and again this is a butterfly so this is about change and um, transformation and expansion and you also have this rose which was um, which is a very beautiful energy flowers are coming in so there are new things blooming in your life and there's divine good here because this is crowned this card is crowned um, you may want to if you are just coming out of um, some kind of uh, situation that was um, that was you know that caused a little with the feelings of you know unhappiness or whatever you can start a gratitude journal um first of all allow yourself if you are coming out of this energy or you know um we have to allow ourselves to feel we have to allow ourselves to experience even some of the saddest emotions and allow ourselves to just sit there with them until they dissipate and and it's okay i mean we are human beings we're supposed to feel things um, this card here is entrapment so you may have been or maybe you still are in a situation where you are feeling trapped you know and maybe this is part of this energy this is a three for the ascended masters and a four 
for a solid foundation, a total of seven, which is like luck and good fortune. And it also can be the number of divine perfection. Um, we have to keep in mind that whatever goes on within our lives, it is there as a lesson and as a guidepost to teach us. And we have to also remember that only love is real because any fear is just false evidence appearing real. And this message here, this is all about, you know, tapping into this esoteric knowledge, balancing the physical and the spiritual world. There's a lot of orange here. There's a lot of creative uh, spiritual energy around you. Um, and this is also um, speaking about like opening up that solar plexus uh, chakra. So this, this is the, a number 36. So three again, um, I believe there's a couple of threes in here. That is the Ascended Masters. They are around you right now. And this is all about magic. It says, if you do not believe in magic, your life will not be magical. Magic, like the power of Stonehenge, is a part of the unknowable, which you cannot describe but exists and makes life extraordinary. It is a part of the goodness of your spirit, and it is the mysterious and intriguing part of your spiritual life magic is what we are all looking for but if you tried to hold it and name it and describe it you will lose it you must talk around magic describe what led you there and give thanks for the part of the universe that is unknowable and full of color and strength and magic out of relationship comes magic out of the friction of forgetting and remembering comes magic out of the mists of dawn and the mysteries of creation come the magic that we call life. Out of your passion for existence comes magic. So you are a very magical being and whatever this kind of situation is, Spirit's guiding me to tell you that, one, you're getting all these messages to pray, to try to um, raise your vibrational frequency, to get into this space of um, this 5D consciousness um, surrender to this prayer and um, and you know maybe start a spiritual practice if you haven't you may be somebody who's just beginning that because you are coming into a season of change and maybe that change is getting more um, in touch with your spirituality your spiritual side so I'm going to go ahead and draw some charms for you. And I believe like once you start getting more into this, you know, um, you know, your person will be attracted to you or you, this could be, um, you know, from, you know, some sort of a separation from your person, maybe causing this misfortune. So here we have a rabbit. You are abundant. And this is all about, you know, um, you know, things coming in fast for you. This is like speed. You know, I read, I read those. And you have the starfish twice. This is about like emotions. And it's also about like reaching for the stars. Um, you may be taking a trip to the beach. You may live close to the beach. That could be possible. You could be a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces who's um, resonating with this. And this is um, like a little crown, the moon, a moon crown with a crown and an angel wing. So there are angels all around you and they're offering you divine guidance. Again, this moon is coming up twice. There may be some things that are uh, hidden that have not been revealed to you yet. Um, and also, you may want to get in touch with the moon cycles or, you know, get um, that may be part of your um, practice and your spiritual practices connecting uh, with the phases of the moon uh, to get you out of this feeling of being entrapped and surrender to, to prayer. And through gratitude does come transformation. And this is so that you can bring harmonization into your life. Now, these are messages from your person. You know, whether they're in your life or you're attracting them in your life. Or they are, you know, 
this is someone you're disconnected from in the 3D. And it says, because of you, my life has never been the same. Our connection is evolutionary. So in other words, it, whatever connection you were thinking of when you got this reading, um, it is causing you like a lot of soul growth, bringing you like into this 5D consciousness, into a season of changes, um, overcoming these feelings of entrapment. And it's saying, you are my dream come true. You are my queen. And our love is liberating. So that is the type of love that you are attracting. And it's through magic. It is through reaching for the stars. It is in, through prayer. And it is through this transformation of, you know, being in gratitude, in this state of gratitude. Um, knowing that you are always surrounded by spirit and love. And all of this unconditional love and the stars. So pile two. Um, this concludes your reading. Love and infinite blessings to you. And until next time. So here we go. Pile number three. So pile number three. If you select a pile number three. This is a crown. And this is for all that is, you know, divine and good in your life. This is also about victory uh you could be attracting that king or that queen into your life um someone you know like you know you're set you're stepping into your own sovereignty and these are messages for your person or the person that you're attracting i will read these at the end so in this case you have fidelity so this is about loyalty and remaining loyal. And this could also about like remaining in faith with this cross here. That's what I'm reading. And it says, when I connect to the spiritual realm, I open the door to receive divine guidance, clear direction, and great wisdom. So to you, you could be remaining just loyal to your spiritual path right now. And through that, you know, through that connection through spirit, you're attracting a divine counterpart because you are on the twin flame journey. If you picked pile number three, you're coming into union with yourself, that you are attracting your divine counterpart. And it's saying, can you hear me? And again, this is like an emotional card. This is a number two for divine partnerships. This is eight, it is infinitely guided. This is a number 10. This is like the Wheel of Fortune. This is fate. This is written in the stars. This is your destiny. It is saying surrender negative thinking. You have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. Also, um, a very powerful thing to say, a statement is I release the need to suffer. Anytime that you are facing a struggle in life, you can say that. I, I release the need to suffer. I release the need to struggle. And you are coming into a season of celebration and transformation. Um, and there are four butterflies here. This is a very powerful message of um, change and transformation coming into your life. You are building through this transformation, you're building this solid foundation. And it's saying, pay attention to the signs. Again, this number 10 is coming up. There's something divinely guided and um, something divinely like faded in your life. And there's a lantern. So it's, t it's telling you to um, follow the light within. You also have this owl. So this is all about inner wisdom. And again, this cross is appearing up twice. Now, you could be affiliated with, you know, with that Christ in, you know, with with the Christ consciousness, with the divinity of Christ. And also, um, this is, you know, and that deeper connection. And maybe even illuminating some of your shadows and the shadow aspects of yourself. And again, this is a number 10. So there is something that is... Um, divinely guided and divinely faded coming to you. 
Um, we have this, this um, white border on this card represents like the north, and it's also like the north node. Again, here comes the moon. And this moon, um, you know, this is a full moon. So maybe full moons are significant to you. All of this water, this is about emotions. This is about tapping into your inner emotions, um, listening to yourself, learning to process your emotions, identify and to process your emotions. And all of these, you know, like mountains in the background, you know, everything like majestic. It, um, the word that comes to mind is majestic and it's saying focus and it's saying much of what you see in life is an agreement that something is in fact true to develop power focus on one aspect of your life this could be your career a sport or some endeavor that you have passion about become an expert and in the process of becoming an expert you fine-tune your whole being. You collect the important parts of yourself and you begin to live life, the life of a warrior. Rid yourself of attitudes that are not essential to your task. Collect your energy and focus your power on wondrous and magical acts. Let the shell of your consciousness rise out of the ocean of your subconscious mind. It is just a matter of focus. And this shell is repeated twice. And it's saying, you know, can you hear me? And this is about breaking through the subconscious and bringing what is in the subconscious to the conscious, which is I'm connecting these cards here as well. So I'm going to go ahead now and pull you some more charms. Okay. So you have a seahorse. And again, starfish. And this is all about like wish fulfillment. Again, balancing the emotional body. Um, this is about victory. This is a palm tree about victory. Um, and this is eternal. This is divinely guidance. Again, um, Jesus, you know, of course the cross is associated with Jesus' cross. This is Christ. This is coming out three times. This is like the number of the ascended masters. I'm getting like this ascended masters. You are very connected to Christ in some way. Um, so that is very, very prominent coming through in this reading. You may even, in your connection, it may even be connected. You may even be connected to this person and you have that bond through Christ. And this is a square or a diamond. So I'm going to say that this is just like giving structure. And these look like little like little stairs there's more structure things are things are being compartmentalized and there's structure and form taking place um, within this connection now I'm not sure what this is but um, maybe something to do with like sacred geometry maybe that is important to you and this is a leaf and this is all about growth and expansion so that is um, that, those are the energies that are present within this divine connection and whatever it is. And this is a twin flame journey. And for you and your twin, you may be routed in that Christ energy because there's a cross, cross, and another one. That's a triple cross. So, and these are your messages from your twin flame. And it says, you live eternally within my heart. I am so thankful for our connection. I dream of your kisses. I believe dreams do come true. And I, I enjoy our pillow talk, dream lover. So with that also, your twin flame, you may have a very strong 5D connection where they are coming in in your dreams very often. So, and as a messenger, but very, and you know, and there's this loyalty card too. So there's this energy of loyalty and it is grounded in this Christ consciousness energy and everything that is, that was hidden within the subconscious, you are tapping into and it's coming forth into the conscious. So, um, pile three, that concludes your reading. Um, thank you so much. And... 
infinite blessings. Love and infinite blessings to you. And until next time, take care.